Let's do this. Kendall, my work computer is using the July 2020, I'm assuming, build of Power BI Desktop. Is there a way to download this version on my PC so I don't have compatibility issues? Yes, 100%. So let me, that's a good question to start yeah, we, off with. Let me. We, we make, it's the last six versions available, isn't it? Uh, there's that. Um, let me see. That one, yeah, I need to find that doc. There is a doc, uh, Power BI Desktop Release. Let's see if I can find it. Let's see if my uh, my search foo is up to date here. It's new, oh man. I can never find that article when I want to find it. Uh, and they don't link to it. Oh, updates for previous months, here we go. All right, let me go. Switch over to my computer real quick. Do that, and I'll put it in the chat too. Uh, previous updates. There we go. Um, all right. So previous updates. Oh, there's a different link. Oh, geez. All right. <laughs> put the right URL in the link. So this doc actually has for previous months. So you can come through and you can see like the July 2020 update. Um, they will have. Uh, they should have links to. I thought they had links to the actual download. They should have. I, I don't think there that is. this is the page. Yes, there we this go. Is. I guess this I was is. wrong. Yeah, so it's like at the way bottom of that particular item, you'll see the download for the 32-bit and the 64-bit. Uh, and then for like June, here, let me go to May and then scroll up there. You'll see the June release, so on and so forth. So they they do the act. This one goes back to October also. So uh, So it's not even six months. It's beyond that if I'm doing math correctly, although they don't actually have the downloads there. So maybe it is six months, I don't know. But you can go to this link and actually check if you want previous versions of it. Um, the other way is if you want the actual current build, um, if you do want those, if you just go to powerbi.com, um, if you don't wanna do the store version, you can go to products, Power BI desktop, and click on this C downloads and language or language options. That will take you to the Microsoft download site where you can then actually go download the MSI um, and then go with that for that given month. And if you want also, you know, just start, if you grab these and catalog those, then you will have them at your disposal. Great question. And and if you want to have the July version to stay in sync with work for compatibility, but you also want to have the latest version so that you can work with uh, the new features as they're released, you can have the MSI version, the download version, and the store version installed side by side. Yes. Uh, so keeping keeping the MSI version at July, you can be on the September version when it comes out. Yes. Word of caution, if you do the side by side install, whichever the last one was installed wins when you double click on PBIX files. <laughs> that is that is good to know. I yes. never double click. I always yes. have the two different uh, yes. uh, two different icons to launch from. Yeah. So if you launch it and then do file open from there, you're good. But if you just double click on a Power BI Desktop file, it's whichever one was installed last, and that's true for the Power BI Desktop version for Power BI Report Server. Um, that's the true thing too. So if you install that one, if you had all three installed, and you installed the one for Power BI Report Server last, that is the default launcher. Or Power BI desktop files. So have fun not getting that sounds confused. Sounds like a lesson that. hard earned. Yes, and there's not an easy way to. The way to change that is uninstall the one you want as the default and reinstall that one, and then that will become the default. 